Not so Freudian here. Welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Dailies. Uh, we are Blue Baby today. So let's get going. Ooh, Megasane. Of course, it happens on the day when I've got like six hours for I need to wake up for my next shift. Cool. I like when the burning basement takes the place of the rocks here. Because that guarantees me a key. Alright, item rooms up here. Please be something reasonable. Maybe something that lets me one-shot dips. That would be great. I almost walked right into that one. This is just mystery sack that can also drop trinkets, right? Alright. It's not XL. So... Being a first floor, this is, has a really good chance of being the secret room. Yeah. And then mystery sack. Today is... July 17th or something? 18th? Is there some special day that I'm not aware of today? And that's why we got the t two random drop items. Alright, thank you for clearing out the center for me. Bugger. I thought I could sneak out there. Three bombs is something. Not something amazing, unfortunately. I don't really care so much about finding an arcade this floor. That gives me a soul heart for next floor. Assuming I don't get hit three times on the boss here. That was certainly a nice drop. Okay. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I made it through there. Without getting hit. Yeah. Needing like seven hits on each little haunt there is a pain in the butt. Okay, I was wondering if I could, like, block him into half the screen. The answer is obviously no. Dang it. I badly mistimed the amount of time for the explosion. I wonder if the, like, mystery sack only drops consumables. Like, normal consumables. Like, I don't know if it'll drop soul hearts at all. Like, does it only drop keys, bombs? No, I think it... This should just give me three hearts, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm fairly certain it drops, uh, cards. I don't know, I've never really paid enough attention to know the difference between the two items. Okay. Alright, still more worth it to just go in rather than attempt to... Um... You know, figure out... Oh, come on, that was just... He shot a lot faster than I expected. I thought I could still just kind of, you know, sweep on by. At least it wasn't the champion. Oh, that was awful. I also keep misjudging where I am and getting caught up on the rocks. Yeah, 
judgment I'm probably just going to hang on to and then blow up on the next floor. Cracked die doesn't help a huge amount. It also looks like they drop in different um, lengths of time, I guess. Like they've got different uh, periods. Okay, there is an arcade and there's a curse room. Curse room is after boss room and devil room. Because I won't know if I've got the hearts for it until after that. Okay. Get rid of that fly that's keeping me from moving through the middle half. Like the middle half of the screen, almost. Okay, frame rate dipped for a second there. I have enough money to go to the shop and get an item. An item and a soul heart, which means if I manage to get a soul heart, I can actually take two. I don't really want either of the items, but I can actually take two double deals now if I don't get hit too much. Okay. <sighs> Alright, I've been hit too much. But I was not expecting that to uh, bounce straight at me. Like, it, it always sweeps around, I thought. That's twice now that he's sent them straight at me. Like, you see how that one swooped? Even though I, uh, you know, I was right in front of him. Yeah, like that one. The other one just used all of that, you know, centripetal acceleration to go straight at me. Oh, come on. Hopefully I get a... Son of a bitch. Devil deal to get some health back. Like, packed Abaddon would be amazing. Upgrades. I think Bible Tract gives health. Alright, take this afterward. Oh, Guppy's paw is so useless. Can't play the beggar. I will take this because flying is great, which makes the hanged man useless. Can take that, which is something. Spectral Tears are interesting. I don't... Oh yeah, Curse Room. I wish I'd taken Guppy's Paw now. And like, I just hadn't taken a ton of extra damage. I didn't want to make a plan that would work out if I didn't screw it up, and then I screw it up. That's really unfortunate. Okay, I have keys. I kind of wish, um... You got a room's worth of charge for each wave here, like you do for each pair of bosses. Boss rush.
also need to worry about the creep from that guy. I desperately need... damage upgrades. That's a lot of money. I can see forever. Cool. Rune. I'd kind of like uh, Degas. Okay. Stop making flies. Or bees or whatever those are. Weird little triangle flies. Okay, I thought there were only two of them. Oh, I guess I just didn't kill the one that I thought I did. Drop the beggar. Blow those up. Pretty fly is good. Okay, good. This gives me... I don't think I had a curse. Uh, it's... Screw it. I'm not going to do this. Okay, red provisions are relevant. That sucks really badly. Go in. Say, screw you, Curse of the Tower. Get out for free. Okay, I almost walked right into that. So why did it only take four hits to kill him? I must have flown into him or something, and that was really dumb. Just seeing if the secret room was next to that somewhere. Since I have the, um... I forget what it's called. Okay. Steam sale, bat I think battery baby blocks shots. Okay, strength. Strength is something. Although I don't think you can use it to cheese um, a devil deal, because you'll still lose the one soul heart. Okay, retrovision's irrelevant. Bunch more money. There's the super super room. Cool. Thankfully, being able to fly gives me a much greater um, like area of operation. Okay. Bugger. Okay, pretty fly just saved me from getting hit there. Hey, okay, battery baby. I was afraid that they were going to explode because flies hit them at diagonals. There's a bomb there. I th I'm not sure if that was Pretty Fly, but thank you, Pretty Fly. Seriously getting ridiculous. 
mean, it's not like I re-rolled damage upgrades or missed a devil room. I just haven't gotten any damage upgrades. And I keep flying up close to him because freaking Papa Fly or Turret Fly or whatever he's called is doing reasonable damage. And the flies from the batteries I'm using for Guppy's head are helpful as well. Probably should have just used strength here. I want to be using my Krampus if it's Krampus, because... I mean, holy crap. It's not Krampus. I cannot take the nail because it will kill me. Oh boy. That tears down might be really, like, worse than you would think here. Gold bomb. I wonder if, like, I think everyone gets the same, like, devil deals. If, you know, if they get the devil deals, I think they're all the same, right? Or, like, if they do the same stuff, like, the percentage isn't going to screw over one person and not someone else. So, like, you know, if, like, yeah, so I'm wondering if everyone who blew up that judgment is going to get, okay, this goes a lot less distance than I would think. Okay. I'm going to walk into that on accident. Okay. Get the hell out. Almost dodged straight into that. Okay. Key. May as well hit, shoot the moon. Okay, that luck up is helpful. Do not walk into the TNT on accident with the knife. Actually, it seems like my range on this is kind of random. Because I hold down the button a lot more sometimes than others, and there's either no appreciable difference, or occasionally I'll get more range when I hold it down for less time. Okay. See, these are the ones that shoot straight instead of the ones that go random. I really need damage upgrades. I mean, not one-shotting these guys is really sad. I guess I can't really complain. But, jeez. I really need damage. Skulls can't give me damage. They can give me demon hearts, though. And I have a gold bomb. Wow. Yeah, they had to have nerfed the drop rate on the... Um, like, everything except for hosts, basically. Okay. Bomb all the shrooms. They are not going to make hosts. sucks, but I think I've gotten a luck up pill and luck foot. So hopefully it's not a big deal. Not a super secret room. Worth checking though because, you know, gold bomb. 
Okay. Get rid of the one. Actually, the creep shot it doesn't matter. Okay. Lovers is irrelevant unless I manage to find, uh... Pick this up just to grab this. Might have gotten me an extra penny or two. Greed, yeah. Ollie freaking Leah. Okay, kill him. Grab this. Yeah, because there's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12 cents. I was at 51. So, that really gave me 7 extra cents. I think I was at 51. Hope I didn't completely misremember. Okay. He dies, he dies, and he dies. Money equals power would be kind of nice. Yeah, no secret... Or, well, super secret room on that last room because of the gaps. Decent chance here, otherwise it's down below. I'll s yeah. There was a chance there was a beggar in this room I could explode for a better devil room chance. There's that. Grab the key. Blow up the shrooms. I don't know what that does. Oh man, pretty fly busted that for me. Shot speed's actually helpful. Damage is good. Do that because Krampus. Okay. Yeah, I got hit once because I went to hit the Q button and missed. I don't think that matters. But, yeah. This is absolutely terrifying. Alright, this isn't the secret room. Uh, no tinted rocks. Okay. That could be the secret room. Okay. I can always flee over the gap if I need to. easier than trying to figure out exactly where the um play where like the sp correct spot was on the big room okay apparently they're just tough enough that they don't die was worth it. Okay. Okay, there is a card. Full health is irrelevant. Couldn't use the tower just to... Three hosts and nothing else. I hate these ones. Oh. I thought that was going to be the uh, bony wall master. This room's easy. I would really like to just get uh, Judas' shadow. In a devil room. Or an item room. I don't know if it can be in an item room. But it would be great either way. I'm gonna look and see if there's something to explode first. And here I can just let the flies do it, I guess. Okay, this gives me creep and the occasional spider. 
By occasional, I mean literally once a room, I get a couple of spiders. Well, one or two spiders, I think. Mystery Sack gave me a heart. Holy freaking Luya. Alright, Super Greed. Not Super Greed. Another two of hearts, holy crap. Take that. Just for fun. Hope it doesn't screw me over. That looks like a secret room to me. It is not. Here? There's Super Greed. Five oh seven. Okay. So the points I get from picking up twenty five cents is greater than the points I lose for picking up an item. There is a beggar for me to explode. Increases my devil room chance. Although I may have screwed over my devil room. Because I'm less likely to get a an item that gives me health plus a benefit, basically. Although I could just get a uh, health plus a benefit from the boss. Ooh. This is the only good place for a super seeker room that I can see. Except, I mean, there's a couple others, but they're far enough away that there's not a, like, good chance for either of them to be, if that makes sense. Mom's purse. Uh, I'm ambivalent here. Immaculate Conception. Interesting. That might have made me Guppy if I'd, you know, picked up Guppy's paw earlier. But, of course, that, um, is a lot less relevant since you don't get very many... Oh, I'm glad I came in here. Um, yeah, you don't get many flies for, with Mom's Knife. So becoming Guppy isn't a big deal. What angel familiars do you get for Immaculate Conception? Like Seraphim? What else is there? I honestly don't remember. I don't, like, pick up angel stuff very often at all. Okay. I did not know the Dark One showed up here. Dang it. Okay. Whew. Got lucky there. Hallelujah. Gotta... I may as well take this just in case I get PhD somewhere. Free bombs. Not gonna say no. Okay. Glad I had flies. But that would have just been a pain in the butt to manage. I can s All right, I didn't realize that that had been like opened up. <sighs> didn't get anything out of that. I'll just use that. Okay. I will go up and see. Okay, I don't feel so bad about that, because that couldn't have been the secret room. Oh yeah, the callus is useless, because I can already fly. Yeah, I was just going over to see if the secret room was in a weird place, and this is three pins, right? Okay. The hitbox 
box on jumping pin is weird. This is not as screwed up as Skull X. That pisses me off just because it's so freaking impossible to hit him. Until he decides to sit there with his butt in the air. Alright, tears up means that it's essentially your range increases faster. Oh, come on, good hit. Ooh, managed to dodge. And of course I made the host just in time. Alright. Oh, could have gone in for... I guess I just didn't notice. What's this? This? Oh, I can see forever. Take that. Take that. So why not? I've got money. Yes, Mother is not amazing, but it's pretty useful if you're getting chased by stuff. Right, let's see if I can get all four of those. I can. So try to do it again. Got a card. I'm taking I Can See Forever for next floor. Hello. Oh, he was sneaky. He waited until I couldn't fire anymore. Alright. This should just be regular Wallmaster, right? Yeah. Solar. Still not entirely sure what that does. The sun. Just use it. So this is Necropolis 2. Two of hearts. It's useless. Taking I can see forever down to the next floor. Lazy worm. I have I can hold two trinkets. And Z is not the button I want to be holding. Is it? There we go. Okay. I want that. And that. Okay, I... I'm kind of annoyed that I got hit there. Alright, going down. No tinted rocks, no devil room. I hate Curse of Darkness. It just, like... It's not bad, it's just annoying. Oh, bugger, this room is going to be the death of me. seeing the tinted rocks in the womb anyway. Do not need Isaac's fork. Do they always go counterclockwise? Actually, that's three pretty flies, so that's kind of useful, since I don't have another orbital. Like, I don't have a cubometer, a sacrificial dagger. Actually, okay, there is an there is an angel familiar that orbits around you, and then there's one that follows you the way a... Um,
Yeah, there's one that follows you like a normal familiar, and then there's one that orbits you like a cubic meter sacrificial dagger does. I don't remember which is which. Actually, is one seraphim and the other is just seraph? That sounds right. What makes you small is good. Full health is irrelevant. Health, health down sucks. Tears down sucks. Speed up is fine. I was just complaining about how idiotic Skolex is. You know, trying to hit him, especially with Mom's knife. I was about to say, okay, I forgot those exploded. I'm not sure how I hurt him there, actually. Probably a terrible idea, but I want to be able to kill stuff in one hit. I hope Mom's knife is a multiplier. All right, I think that was the fly hitting it there. All right, plenty of keys. from below. Actually, check every room religiously for tinted rocks. But yeah, like the drawback from Contra from below, the fact that you get more uh, double trouble boss rooms is irrelevant with, uh... Okay, I wasn't expecting two of them at this point because there's no opportunity to get a double trouble boss room. Son of a crap. I forgot about the poop. Okay, that's awful. I didn't even see that. I had too many flies and stuff around me. Uh, well, I was doing well until I just completely screwed the pooch. But hey, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you would. I will see you guys tomorrow.